that whole separation with Kyle and all that was just a lot of just fucking emotions involved because Kyle and them were like my fucking best fucking friends. Yeah. Like Kyle was my best fucking friend. And Steiny. And Zirat. <laughs> I used to have a really bad cocaine issue back in the day. I recently got a little back doing it again because I just fucking had some shit happen and I can't allow that. What are you thinking for the future and, and where are you at right now? Right now the goal is just to kind of get my brain back to just dialed. You know Timmy bounce back? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. He would come Imagine. over every morning and order a bottle of champagne nice. and uh, didn't really know what the bill was and at the end it was $92,000. Oh, it was the, the worst day of my life. Welcome back to the MBH Podcast, Money Buys Happiness, guys. We fucking love you. You're not subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Like this video. Leave a comment. Whatever. Just do whatever. No? Do whatever, Just please. Just fucking do whatever. Comment something. Boys, we're in a beautiful, absolutely stunning condo with two absolutely fucking massive beauticians next to us. Beauticians, boys. All right? No, wait, I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> <laughs> John Sarasani. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. I did. Beautiful. Well done, sir. Bob Menery. Did I say that right? I think, yeah, you did. Yeah? Yep. Yep. Okay, good. Robert yep. Mennery. <laughs> we'll fucking take it. Gents, welcome to the show. Appreciate it, man. Happy to be here. Welcome to my condo. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for having, Thanks us, for having us. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, dude, it's fucking beautiful. And and like I said, I appreciate you guys coming on, taking the time. I know it's, uh, well, I don't even know what fucking we, we have is. We have plenty of it, by the way. <laughs> no, come on, <laughs> man. We have plenty you of time right now. guys are busy guys, bro. We don't sleep. We don't sleep. You guys oh, are busy guys, dude. No, no, no. I know you guys have been going crazy, doing your own little saga. That's kind of how this came together. I know, uh. Yeah, so you were talking to Bob Logan in the DMs? Sliding in his DM, trying yeah. to make it happen. What were you saying? Double messages? Cool. Were you Double doing? messages, triple messages, whatever. What whatever did the I respond? fuck it takes. Did I respond politely and like, You were being very respectful. Was I, all right, well, well, a little okay. like there was some times, but what know, do you the, mean? Did say Snapchat <laughs> but I don't know your tone. That's, that's what I'm saying, you know? I don't know if that was just I'm your not tone. A, I'm not a dick. I usually No, no, you're not, I didn't say you're a dick. I'm pretty that. fucking you're usually nice responsive to people. I just, really always Just the fact that you responded was enough. I think that's my problem, is I respond to so many fucking people. That's what makes my brain go fucking. Do you answer all your DMs? I got. I mean, it. Uh, a lot of them. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. It depends. If you're saying something of value, like I, and you're criticizing me, I'll. If you're just like fucking with me, it's like I just block you immediately. True. Mm -hmm. But then if you're saying something that offers some sort of value, I'm gonna listen. You're and doing have a the quick block now. Yeah. Just quick block. Yeah. I like that too. I'm doing that too now. You are. Yeah. I'm not on your level, probably, but you know, oh, smaller you're, scale. You're, you're, I don't know what my level is. I don't know if you want to be on my level. <laughs> <laughs> Gents, how do you guys know each other? Yeah, yeah, I want to start there. Oh, man, we started fucking around with each other, like, in February, and we kind of just had took a liking for, you know, with each other. And I, I got to tell you, I didn't really realize the shit, Bob. I, I just know him from being the voice, you know, yeah. the funny shit. Of course. I didn't really realize his history with, you know, a breakup that he had with former business partners or anything else, and... You know he's he's in a spot where he's changing. all right all right Jesus Christ hey. <laughs> we're going, we're going <laughs> to we fucking, start first, what the yeah, fuck start hey, deep, start deep. listen I'm not even going there I'm just saying he's in a spot where he's kind of realigning himself with with people around him I, I'm in a spot where I'm growing my social media I have business experience from the past that has been very successful Bob's obviously doing what he's doing with social media and yeah. you know <laughs> it, it it only fucking works for us though guys I'm gonna tell you it only fucking works because we get along all right me and him are together so fucking much. Even if there was a business component where it was beneficial to both of us, it don't fucking work if you don't like each other. It's facts. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so, but, but this was like a social media connection. You guys were. Yeah, we just kind of we I, just decided to just get you know. I like John. John liked me, so we're like, let's just fuck with each other. Not yeah. fuck each other, but let's fuck with each other. <laughs> so, I hope. I hope. Uh, bro, you know. Actually, I had him on my podcast, and it was during March Madness. He doesn't fucking show up for the fucking podcast, and uh, uh, it was what? it was, it was, it was always virtual. He doesn't know this. It was fucking virtual. It was supposed to be at like two p.m. on a Saturday. I'm like, this motherfucker's not showing up. And uh, anyway, he finally returns my text at six in the morning the next fucking day. Yes. I'm taking a fucking shower. All right, it's, it wasn't March, it was like a Tuesday or some shit. I'm taking a shower, getting my day ready. I go, fuck, he goes, I'll do it now. So we run into the fucking <laughs> <laughs> But I feel like that's I, how I, you are, right? Yeah. Like you're very just like, let's go right Running now. Because right? my bad, I'll do it now, but I was pretty sure he might not have slept that night when I was I like, I like, sometimes I like doing podcasts that have like, uh, like random, like no followings. Like, People that are like fucking just that have like twelve people that watch it. Sure. Yeah. Why? 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 I, I have mind, no idea. Just in case, like, like, just like, just in case you say me. something or what? I don't know. I just know. I like to. I like to help. I put like to try on. and like help. Yeah, I put think. people on. People. I, you know. I think that I, I've done like 
Did you think my podcast had 12 people when you agreed to it? Is that what it was? It, I think it was right around that number, wasn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you like to help people Me, put my them son. on? Yeah. It's fun to just talk to like fucking people in the, you know, starting yeah, out yeah. podcast. I've been doing this shit for all, forever, so. And I really enjoy doing podcasts, and sometimes if I'm bored, I'll just do it. I feel like, I feel like, because we followed your, your story the last few years as well. We've been fans of you, obviously. I feel like you've had to reinvent yourself many times as well. With a lot of different, you know, we won't have to talk about. No, you're all good. I don't give a fuck about anything. I'll talk about anything. <laughs> Listen, in terms of reinventing yourself, though, I feel like you've done it a bunch, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I, you know, like you <laughs> no, what does that mean, bro? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, we got to make some serious changes here. You know, yeah. that's, that's no, but big. again, that's 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 adapting and that's changing up. You know, leveling up. Yeah. And I feel like you're in that phase right now again. Yeah, definitely. I right? mean, I yeah, gotta 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 figure out a lot of shit. You so know? What, what's 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 the plan right now? What's what are you thinking for the future and and where are you at right now? You know, what I want to just do is I want to keep pounding my podcast. I mean, I had a very successful before we partnered up with Kyle and them. You know, Ripper Magoo was a really successful podcast that I was doing consistently. I was in a different mindset. You know, past couple of years has been really really rough. I mean, fucking mentally with some things going on, and so it just kind of fucked my head up. It's no excuse. Yeah. But you know, I just. You know, I really want to just focus on the podcast, and if I can do that consistently, I can build around that. There's other stuff I have. I'm doing these weed gummies that are coming out that I'm really excited about. We're getting them all different dispensaries in Arizona and Massachusetts and all over the place. And But, yeah, I mean, right now the goal is just to kind of get my brain back to just dialed. Yeah. And how are you guys working together? Is there a business relationship here? It's a few things that'll be announced probably in the next two months that we're working on together. And and, and I think for like this line of question with where you guys are going that with Bob, it, it's it's he's in a position. My right attorney, now. my attorney. I like, well, I like this. Yeah. I like this, this is the guy I would want. Yeah, though, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Jack. He's, he's like the fucking guy. guy. I don't know if you can tell on camera. They're huge. Yeah. 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 I love it. I fucking yeah. love it. Dude, sometimes you know <laughs> when, when you're in a position where you're on the top of the fucking mountain. And you take a step back and say, shit, I'm, I'm on the top of the fucking mountain, but my last six to 12 months maybe haven't gone as well as they should have for yeah. this guy up on top of the fucking mountain. Maybe yeah. I need to take a step back and realign myself with different people. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and that's where it's at. And Yeah, I just you know. need, I just need like, you know, that, that, that whole separation with, with Kyle and all that was just a lot of just fucking emotions involved because Kyle and them are like my fucking best fucking friends. Yeah. Like Kyle was my best fucking friend. Yeah, yeah. And then when, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things I should have done differently and I think there's a lot of things that maybe he could have done differently and it's just kind of like, it was, it sucked because you go from best friends to fucking, you know, turmoil. I, I gotta say though, like the chemistry looked fucking real we like, had a good i mean it was real it, I, you know what i mean like it didn't look like it was just for the camera like i gotta say that from the outside looking in i was like oh this shit looks legit like these are these are fucking homies like these guys are brothers like that's what it, that's what it looked like that was my guy brother and you yeah. know it's still open to like you know obviously what i gotta learn too because i just i'm fucking i gotta learn to obviously channel myself a little bit and not to have explosions and sure. just you know i'm from boston so we have a tendency to just have a little bit of a thing but then you realize it really fucks you sometimes yeah, so yeah. um yeah i mean i d definitely regret like going on the internet and just yelling you know well, we're italian we do that all the time it's probably, yeah, it's, it's a part probably a better way to do that than that but you live and you learn and i yeah. mean how about in terms of uh i think a lot of a lot of your audience our audience as well they don't know kind of the life of a creator what happens behind the scenes in terms of mental health and and all that stuff so what have you learned maybe about being a creator in this space and having to deal with the ups and downs and as as well as your mental health mental health right now is kind of just a little fucked up yeah. but like i mean i always i don't know i mean i don't really know how to answer that question uh, but have you learned anything in the past let's say three four years about yourself and and how to kind of adapt to any sort of bad situations that may come your way um i think I think what I, what helps me is just talking to people and through like DMs and shit. I like really engaging with people and and like your community. I, I was gonna say you're very like, and, and you kind of have both taken this approach, but like, you're very open with your life mm. on social. Media. We're gonna we're gonna stop that, bro. Yeah. Are you gonna say, stop that? I was gonna say, bro. No, I think so. It just, <laughs> Dude, it, that it runs can't me be through easy. the ground because I'll do it. Because yeah. what'll happen is I'll I'll go and announce these things that are just in my head yeah. and uh i'll just throw them out there and then i end up realizing like when i like go to the airport or something i forgot i told everything that's going on in my life yeah. Yeah. and i just feel like a fucking idiot yeah, yeah. and okay. forgot like, you got three million followers watching yeah so yeah. you know that's basically uh that's basically that yeah, yeah. you got it. yeah so and I, and I think even as a creator i think that you've you've seen the highs and the lows of being a creator content creator or in the media game right yeah, I'd say right now is a low. I'd right say now is a low. Right now is a low. I'd say, but um, 
I'm pretty good. I just got to get a couple of things in line again and just get disciplined again and hungry again, you know? Yeah, like well, I said, I took like six months off after I just didn't do shit. Just live, you know, in Boston and just played Fortnite and ate Cheetos for like six months. <laughs> well, but we should probably mention the timing of this podcast, podcast as we're sitting here right now. He's calling it a low, but it's like the it's, second. It's on the, the way second up. maybe is. You guys probably yeah. met me on one of my worst you know? days. Of, yeah. Well, yeah. Probably. Just then, you know, I just did it. That's, but we're turning this thing. That's around. what John sets up here, you yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> true, no, true. We're turning this thing around. Bob was no, know, yeah. reluctant to do anyone else's podcast so, because of what he's going through right now. But, yeah. but we're going. We're, we're, the thing is this: basically, it's like just I want. You know, I got to just focus consistency. That's my thing: consistency, consistency. You know, cut out some things that I've had issues with in the past mm -hmm. and still kind of struggle with, and that's just basically it. I feel like even the bad situations, you can take them two ways, right? They they can be a detriment to you, mm -hmm. or they can be a fire for you. So. Are you trying to use it as a fire moving forward instead of the other one, the other, the ladder? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think I'm just trying to I, take an hour at a time and just try and figure out my shit, yeah. you know, and just, you know. Yeah. Well, how do you, how do you guys, I'm curious, like, obviously you guys seem like good friends. Yeah. You built, you've been building this up, like. I live in his house now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there you go. I mean, fucking. <laughs> roommates. John yeah. said one day I'm here for four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I just you know, can't. That, that movie with Bill Murray, What About Bob, in the 90s? That's the, he doesn't fucking leave. So are you squatting? Like on vacations with us? <laughs> Bob, you, that's my son. Are, are you squatting here? Like, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, 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 just, I just don't want to go back to Boston right now. So, yeah. I mean. And but be, I feel like yeah. L.A., dude, we, we say this, like, we usually shit on L.A., to be honest. <laughs> We're also, like, Toronto boys. But, like. I feel like the air here is just demonic, bro. It's just <laughs> super demonic vibes. Don't in the even air, get me bro. fucking started with this place. <laughs> the <laughs> demons, the <laughs> demons are here. Bro. I the demons are here, bro. I swear to God, bro. Dude. The demons are fucking here. This is the worst fucking city on the planet. <laughs> so what are you doing? Here? <laughs> I was in a, I was in a groove. I was just like, I was in a groove, and then fucking just shit hit the fan yeah. for some shit, and then yeah. fucking yeah. I just. Now I'm going, I'm getting, I'm evacuating. Okay, but so this is Operation Save Bob, no? Yeah, no, it kind of is, yeah. <laughs> no, well, I just, yeah, I got to get the fuck out of LA. This place is not fucking, I got to get the fuck out of Why don't you do yeah. Miami? Yeah. Nope. Why not? Miami, oh, shit, fuck. Miami, no, you can turn it off Listen, if you need. I'm running out of cities. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Toronto, bro, nothing's happening. There's Come a to specific Toronto. reason Miami is not on the radar screen, but <laughs> yeah. there's no reason LA is not. I'm, I'm going to stick up for LA. Okay, okay yeah, right, do it, man, do we it. need someone to finally stick up, because no one does. Okay, I'm in Chicago, and and I sold my company, I feel like I said, Saturated everything that I've been able to do in Chicago. Okay, what's the next logical move for a motherfucker <laughs> if he wants to grow business wise? Yes, yeah. yeah. You're in Chicago, where are you gonna go to grow? You can't go to fucking Miami or somewhere smaller market. It's either New York or LA. Yeah. All okay, right. Okay. I came out to LA as a established business person. Yes. Yeah. It's very fucking different than coming out here in your fucking twenties. True. Because you know what I do? I'm a magnet for the other successful people because yes. we know. 98% of the people here are fucking full of shit. Yeah. True. So if you could find a way 99. To be, you find a way you find a way to be part of that 2%. Yeah. It fucking grows so fast. I bought this place 2 years ago and I can't even tell you how many circles I got into so fucking quickly because yeah. the good people tend to find fucking good people and Very yes, true. I am calling myself a fucking good person. But if I would have if I would have came here when I was 25 still with something to prove, mm. I would have been in this fucking rat race with everybody else and very difficult to navigate in LA. Very fucking. But difficult. where you stay is important. I noticed because we mm. this is our fourth time here in the last like eight months, and okay. like we've always tried to be like on a fucking budget because we don't like being here anyways. So yep. we don't even want to. We don't even want to come ball. You know, we're just like looking for the cheapest <laughs> Airbnb possible. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Then there, we, the, we go eat places. There's bullet holes through the fucking window. <laughs> and we're like, all right, this is fuck. But then yeah. this time we're like, yo, let's ball out. We got a really nice spot. We're in the hills, in Sherman Oaks, and like. It has been so much better. Okay. We've, 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 we've met like a lot of better people. Yep. The circles have been better. Nice. So I feel like that also makes a difference in terms of coming to LA. Right. No, yeah, 100%. Right. Right? Spend yeah. some money. Yeah. You got to well, spend money, though. That's the fucking thing. Before I fucking bought this place, I'd come for two weeks at a time in the fucking little villas at uh, Beverly Hills Hotel. True. If yeah. you ever want to fucking just ball out like with your girlfriend or wife or something, just do it for one night. Stay at that mm. fucking place. And just, just get rinsed? Dude, it's an experiment. Yeah. I, I mean, ex excuse me. I spent $92,000 at the London Hotel. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, run that back. Run that back. Hold on. Hold on. What? Huh? Yep. Can you Not tell a... us about that? <laughs> uh, basically... I stayed, this was probably three years ago, and I went in for just, you know, a night to stay at the London and ended up uh, staying for 42 days. Yeah. And, uh, 42? Yeah. 42 days? I think it was 42 days. And, uh, you know, Timmy bounced back? Yeah, of oh, course. Yeah. He would the come legend. over every morning and order a bottle of champagne. 
Nice. And uh, didn't really know what the bill was, and at the end it was ninety two thousand dollars. It was the sa- the worst day of my life. Was wow. that the worst money spent? You think? Yeah. That you've done? Ninety two grand, absolutely, on fucking the London <laughs> fucking hotel. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Really? Yeah, I, don't think, I don't think we've missed a much worse than that. Bro, so, yeah. you didn't get like one free night. They didn't be like, "Hey, let's comp you a fucking night at least." Like, like I'll post you guys on my story. Like, I, got, I, got free br- I got a free breakfast a couple times. Nice. Those are good breakfast. <laughs> Those fuckers. Bob, Bob does try to barter fucking poison shit on his right? story. You <laughs> might as well. Bro, bro. I'll, I'll say I stayed her. She oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Cut off ten grand. I'll post it on the story all yeah. day. That's Doesn't amazing. even have to be that. <laughs> be a fucking egg sandwich. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so I want to talk about podcasting a bit, Bob. Yeah. When did you first start? Uh, we started Ripper Magoo's. I don't even know. Kevin Conley was my partner at the time, and we, man, this is probably like, what six? I don't even know. Six years ago, I have no fucking idea. What do you think? LJ? Even more, maybe no. Yeah, probably more than that. So, uh, yeah, and then just kind of, I was doing my sports voiceover, so I had a lot of attraction and shit. Of course, and, you know, we were we were right up there with number one in sports for a while with part of my take, and it was just me and Timmy, and uh, so a sports based podcast. That's yeah. what it was at the beginning. Yeah, it was cool. holding one for a while. On uh, on the Apple charts for a long wow. long time, yeah, it was good. Because that was early, like you yeah. were doing it, like bro, like podcasts weren't a thing back then, the way they are now, at least. Yeah, no, it was a little. Yeah, we got in early. Now it's such an oversaturated fucking thing, you know. Yeah. Tell like, me there's about so it. many fucking podcasts now. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I think the it. real ones will survive. The good ones will survive. It's like no? anything else. True. You know. So what what made you guys want to start a pod back then? At that point. Um, because. I mean, I saw some other guys doing it, and I just Sick. thought I could be good at it. And so we started, you know, I met Kevin, and Kevin and I just got into business together. And, and we started off, we had Shaq, we had all, a lot of good people. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Ben, why'd you stop? Um, we stopped because... I know there was a break. Yeah, I think Kevin and I just kind of just kind of just grew a little apart, just maybe creatively-wise, and then just sure. kind of, you know, we're good now. But we just kind of was just, you know... Yeah, yeah. Look, little creative differences. Yeah, you guys were both co-hosts, obviously, just hosting. No, together. Kevin produced it. Oh, Timmy yes. Bounce Back was the was Timmy. Ho- host. Timmy Bounce Back was the host. Steve's guy. Sick. Yeah. So. Hey, damn. I mean, that's that was a long time ago to be doing a pod. I'm, mm-hmm. So I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out like from there when you stop the pod, what's what's your next move? I think I'm the youngest person with Alzheimer's, so <laughs> I. I do- <laughs> I don't really have the greatest memory. Um, my next move from there was I don't know. I mean, I mean, the next pod we started was with with your Kyle, or whatever, and um, it just kind of made sense. I think I had to convince Kyle, I think, to do the pod. We talked about it for a while, so yeah. I mean, there was a gap in time in between. Yeah, but I don't fucking remember, bro. True, it's been and a lot the, of shit. And in terms life. of like, let's say business and 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 money, obviously, where money buys happiness. Were you making a lot of money when you first started the podcast? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Good times. Yeah, when we were going, we were going. Yeah, yeah. And how old? How old were you when you started the pod? I'm the youngest person with Alzheimer's. I don't really yeah. remember. Okay. I, I think I was like twenty. How, I don't know. No, I'm just wondering, like, what you were doing at? Because I know you have like a, a crazy come up story. Mm-hmm. You didn't come from fucking rags and riches over there. So, mm-hmm. what was it like making that much money early on in your career? Or did you already make money from from the voiceovers and stuff like that? It's like anything else. I think when somebody starts with zero followers mm. and you start getting your first fucking brand deal for five hundred dollars, mm-hmm. yeah. and you're like tweaking the fuck out because you just got a five hundred dollar, uh, mm-hmm. you know, deal. I mean, obviously worked, you know, Buffalo Wild Wings was my first kind of like real gig. Big you know, break. That was you know the first thing, and then I fucking obviously started to go off the rails, and they <laughs> these <laughs> these brand friendly companies were a little afraid to kind of work with me. But yeah. B Dubs was the first like real paycheck that I that I got. How did it was, feel? It was good. I mean, it was the easiest job in the world. I'd go in and do my fucking 26 sauce and seasonings and fucking that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and and, like, and they're like, all right, you're done. I'm like, what? They're like, that's yeah. nine commercials. You're all set. You yeah. literally it was 60 hours a fucking year. Yeah. Because, no, why I'm asking about the money is because obviously you've made a good amount of money. Made a good amount of money. Yep. Definitely. But you've yeah. also had like some, some bad times throughout the last couple of years. Well, of course. So what, what what's really pushing you forward? Is it money? No, not really. I think it's just personal happiness i think so what what what's what's happiness for you at this point after making that kind of money after seeing some lows having some situations what's that what's that happiness look like for you like right now yeah um probably just waking up every day and being happy and being in a good mood and just sustaining that mood throughout the day yeah and 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 i guess what makes you feel that way is it content podcasting being yeah around the i right think it's people? just like i think it's well it's, it's getting rid of some toxic things in your brain yeah the demons the demons get those out of your brain and then yeah. uh if you can find a way to get those out of your brain then i think that you're gonna you're gonna have lead to fucking happiness well because ig's been like a place for i'd even say both of you guys we were talking john also off the pod about how like 
you guys respond to fucking comments. Like, you'll make the videos, yeah. you're blasting people in the comments. Mm-hmm. Like, you guys yeah. use it as fucking therapies, like a venting session or what? <laughs> yeah, here's what's so funny about you fucking saying that. He's up my ass because he, he, I, it's all like, okay, how does your Why Instagram are we making look? so many weird references here? <laughs> <laughs> he was up in my ass very long last night. Really. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> Money's tight, guys. He's, he's up my ass. <laughs> I tend to like fucking post reel after reel throughout the fucking day because yeah. yeah. as a littler influencer or whatever you want to fucking call it, that's how I fucking grew. Yeah. These inst- it would go. So I post five or six a fucking day. Yeah, he's fucking nuts. He'll be running around and be like, so yeah. I just took a fucking shit. And if you want to take a shit <laughs> and make fucking money, no, you got to fucking no, do I it wouldn't. like this. No. He's like, I, I won't say shit like that, but what I'll say is I, I took a shit and the, and the bathroom had single ply toilet paper at the restaurant. So you know what? I didn't tip that waitress. <laughs> I'll say shit like that. Yeah. A little bit better. Yeah. But um, it, what's funny though is once I started doing that, I went from like, I was at like 50,000 followers and went over 100,000 literally in like two months just from doing that yeah. fucking shit. So when me and him start messing around together, he's like, dude, you got to stop posting these reels all fucking day. I start paying attention to his shit a little bit closer. This motherfucker does like 20 stories a fucking day. <laughs> yeah. And then he fucking clears his shit. Yeah. And two hours later, he'll have 20 new stories. <laughs> yep. But it won't look like he has 40 stories. So go delete all of them before they run out. Yeah. I go, Bob, why the fuck would you just do that? It's good for the algorithm. It's good for the algorithm. <laughs> it's true, I though. Mean, no, it's true. I, I, think, I think that there, there is like i do well i do like definitely delete stories a lot but i do think that like what i do is if it's if there's too much i, I just re every day i restart like yeah. I, don't, I don't do 24 hour stories because i love doing the ig stories yeah because yeah. it's like my little fucking it's how i like started doing all my shit yeah and i feel it's like my little fucking movie i can make yeah well you, well, you talk about documenting all the time as well yeah pretty much yeah you want to document all this why is that important to you because mm, this is a lot of bullshit out there, and so I just like to try and be as raw as possible and real. Yeah. And so I want to show everything that's happening in my life, the good and the bad, because a lot of people can relate to it. True. I'm, I'm, but I gotta ask, like, because I feel like every creator, influencer, whatever you want to call them, like, the, like they always end up trying to sell a product. Like, I feel like, and even for both you guys, like, right now you guys are just talking shit online, <laughs> and there's no fucking product to sell. Like, what fucking product do you guys sell? Like, sh- watch the show, watch the pod, I guess? Yeah. That's pretty much it? Like, yeah, I mean, John and I are looking, that's one of the things we're talking about, is looking to develop something together, and that's one of the reasons why we're here together. So we're yeah. just kind of talking about two different options that we're going to go uh, forward with, and we'll go from the there. Product? The product? The, the movie field of dreams. If, if, if you build it, they will come. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like literally, that's what I'm... People ask me all the time, why the fuck are you doing all this shit for? Bro, I'm, I'm retired. I, like, I, I don't have anything else to do. So they're like, <laughs> fuck you, you're lying, you don't know... You tell me when you're in my position what you do with your fucking day. There's not a lot to do. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, true. Like, you're like, bro, I'm rich. Fun. I'm fucking rich, dude. dude. Like, yeah. what, do you, what do you want me to do? I will do? post all day and I'll talk about how rich I am. Are you guys, are you guys making money in the pod right now or no? Yeah, well, probably not as much as you, but we're trying. No, we're not even. I'm not even running. We're not running much on my law right now. Yeah, I'm just, no, we're, sponsors I'm just building it. Yeah, I mean, I just, I'm just building. I'm just getting building it back. So, like, in terms of the, like, what's the, like, the long-term play? You just want to just podcast forever? Um... I haven't thought about my long-term play yet. My, mm. my, I have a short-term play right now. Cool. That's just to get fucking dialed again. Well, yeah. well you got the bed in the box, right? Yeah, you we do that. You yeah. only fuck missionary? Is that what it is? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> <They're bro. laughs> well, I did a sleep number Super Bowl commercial, and then they uh, didn't rehire me. <laughs> yeah. And so... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I why called, not, though? Why um, not? Beca- oh, my God. This is actually a good story. So, <laughs> sleep number <laughs> hires me to do a Super Bowl commercial, and here I am thinking, like, this is where I fuck up. Uh, here I am, like, thinking I'm doing a great job for them, whatever, and whatnot. <laughs> so I start a campaign on my own without asking them approval. <laughs> oh, you go on your own. Just okay. to try and go above and beyond and, you know, just show it, you know, s- scratch their back a little bit. And what I made this is this campaign that, like, you on their certain mattresses, like, that's the missionary mattress where you fuck your girl missionary only. Yeah. And, like, blasted a bunch of stories on it. And let's just say legal messaged me, like... 20 minutes in, we're like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, and we never talked to Sleep Number again. But it was a good effort. Was, uh, People you thought they would be down with that. I, yeah, I kind of, I mean, I, why not? Wouldn't they? I mean, yeah, it, yeah. I mean, you've worked with so many sponsors, though, in like, let's say the past seven, eight years, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. Well, what kind of advice would you give to like other podcasters out there in terms of working with sponsors? Um, I feel like that's a, that's a spot where a lot of podcasts have trouble. Um, probably, I mean, just uh, get somebody to run your shit that understands how to organize all that, that shit. Yeah. You know? But I mean, like, okay, b- before that step, because there was a time where you were doing a lot of the work as I'll well. I'll just, I like to still do it, man. I post shit up there all the time where it's like, 
you know, hey, looking for sponsors for the pod, like, all the time. Yeah. I'll post that on my story all day, and I'll get, you know, inquiries in my email, and I'll just fucking negotiate right there with them. Mm-hmm. And how about, but how about at the start? How were you getting sponsors, let's say, when you weren't as big as you are now? I think we were probably doing it the same exact same way. way. Yeah, mm-hmm. pretty much the same exact way. But there's a better way to do it than I do it. Like, you don't want to follow my advice <laughs> in that category. <laughs> no, no, I mean, you got ask, here, bro. I feel, like, like, uh, I feel like there's some brands that are going to be like, yo, that's so unprofessional. Like, you, you look desperate, like, trying to do that. When, when I see you post that shit... I think it's fucking jokes. And I'm like, damn, if, I, if I had a brand, like, I would love the opportunity to just reach out like yeah. this easily. Right. Yeah. What do you mean? What's your point again? No, I'm saying like, like, what's your thoughts? Because you're obviously doing it in a way where other people would be like, bro, that's fucking, that, that's, that's corny. That's cheesy. Like, you look right. desperate. I don't, th- like, my personal opinion is I love it. Because if I had I a brand. I just come from like a street hustler yeah. mentality. And yeah. so like, that's just yeah. my, me- you know, I was born Fair. in Lawrence, Massachusetts, you know, so like that's. We were kind of just street hustlers, and I just still have that mentality in me. But there are ways to do it better, like I said, you know? So. Are you sure? Because, like, bro, it looks like you're doing a fucking yeah, we good got, job. We got, we got a little bit of work to do, but it's getting back. The pod rip, Ripper yeah. pod is coming back. It's, it's good. And, and I, I, I actually want to ask about Rumble. Yeah. Because we're not really on it. I see that you post there exclusively. Um, yeah. I mean, Rumble, oh, I yeah. called Chris. After I saw Steve go over there, and after I separated from Nelk, I met Chris, CEO, yeah. and basically yeah. was just kind of like, hey, man, look, I, you know? Love to come on the platform and uh, do some stuff. So we just, me and Chris just did the deal ourselves and just figured out a fair thing. And now we're, I think we're, we have like a year left or something with them. Okay. And so, yeah. You've been liking it though? Yeah. I mean, you don't have to, yeah, Rumble's great. You just, you don't have to worry about like any of that censorship shit. I mean, look at what happens. Steve's page gets ripped down. You work so long to bring all those fucking views to YouTube. It sucks. Like True. you just lose your fucking account. That's, you know, wow. have you had have you had like trouble trying to get your platform over to Rumble, your audience? Over yeah, there? it is. It is. It is tough. Um, definitely. It, yeah, it, it, it's it's tough. It means a lot more reach on YouTube. But, you know, the the deal that I have with them is pretty good. So true. You know, and, you also and I see a lot of like long term opportunity mm-hmm. with them. Well, that's what I was going to ask do you. What do you think long term? Where do you think they're going to be? You think they'll be competitive? competitive with youtube like directly i think they gotta i think that they gotta fucking bring on which you know i try to help chris with uh is help bringing on kind of some talent Sick. you know we've got we had a call with uh, tyreek hill trying to get tyreek on to play uh video games on there and cool um i think we had a conversation with alex earl but i don't think that went that that one went down so just you know i try and help you know chris on top of just my deal go a little above and beyond and help bring people on the platform true mm-hmm. do, do people ever not want to associate with you all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, why? Because like, I mean, you're saying names. Like, you're saying Tyree Kill, <coughs> massive. You're saying Alex Earl, massive. And those, no, no, but those Alex people- Earl was not. No, Alex Earl is not associated with me at all. Okay. But I was just doing, like, oh, I you're just doing put the it connecting? together. I think Bryce Hall gave me the information. I connected it to okay, Chris. Even Bryce Hall and Tyree Kill. Like, those people are fucking completely across the spectrum from each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty connected. So, like, my whole entire, what I was very good at when I was growing was... You know, I, I had a bunch of followers and I would just fucking DM people and be like, you know, like, what can I do for you? Wow. Like, you know, like, how can I help you? I don't want anything. I just want to give you my fucking followers. And then obviously yeah. I was making, you know, sports videos, making fun of players. Yeah. And so it would get along the locker room real quick. And then I'd send them the thing. They'd go, LOL. And I'd be like, dude, you're the man. Blah, blah. And I just I, I do that all day, 24 seven. And so, yeah. I, you know, that's where I got to a point where I think I was, you know, pretty connected. So. What, what, what is your what is your like uh, iPhone screen time look like? It must be fucking ridiculous. It's, it's pretty fucking insane. For sure. Yeah, I'm looking to slow that down a little bit. but <laughs> it's, it's hard, man. It, it's, it's hard to put it down, you know, so uh, that that's that's yeah, it's high. I mean, what do we we saw ours the other day was 18 hours. No. no, you were 17? fucked. You were fucked. You I were like fucked. 17 hours, something like that. I'm like, like I don't 12, even know when I 13. Yeah. yeah, it's insane. I mean, it's just like, but but I, I hear you because then it's like, bi- like business is, that's that's business now. Like yep. You're just fucking trying to connect with everybody possible. You know what you guys should yep. do? You know what's a good idea? Uh, uh, try and set the record for the world's longest podcast. We were talking about this the other Bro. day. We were like, we should run like a 24 hour straight podcast. I think it's 38 like hours, I think, which doesn't even seem that hard. Is it, is it 38 mm-hmm. hours? Yeah, 38 hours. But then we'd need a lot of drugs or something to like shake <laughs> up. Like, dude, how, how do you how do you run that? A lot of drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. That's, that's, that's you, a good do, idea. do you guys want to break down. the record with us? We'll do it right now. <laughs> I do it now. <laughs> Just no, I can't do it today. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. So what's been what do you think's been the most important part for your podcast? Because there's many aspects to it, right? There's the podcast itself. There's the community. There's the content. What do you focus on the most? Hmm. Depends just on the kind of I, th- I I wanted to do cooler stories like 
the you know like I was big into tornadoes, so I wanted like the storm, uh, the best storm chase in the world. Reed Timber, I found him and That's actually sick. actually went and chased a tornado with him. Stop. Yeah. yeah pretty when was fu- this? This is probably like two months ago. It's the most crazy adrenaline rush of all time. Sick. Yeah, dude, I was such a pussy. Like for I canceled on him like three times, but I would always like message him like, dude, when's the next tornado? He tell me. And so we fucking <laughs> get on, we get on this tornado. fucking plane. He he gets like I get this ticket and I'm flying to bumfuck Missouri. And I'm just like, am I really going to do this? So we land, picks me up at the airport, and we go to this little fucking Motel 6 in the middle of fucking nowhere. And I shut the door in the hotel, and I go, holy fuck, I'm actually about to chase a tornado. And he comes in, he's like, yeah, there's like an EF5 brewing. It's coming right this way tomorrow. And I'm like, what the fuck? And it was the scariest fucking shit yeah. ever. But you felt good after, for sure. Oh, well, the adrenaline rush is awesome. Right? Like I, I, I had crazy, crazy sex with, you know... <laughs> Afterwards, <laughs> I was waiting for you to finish that. I was like, I don't know where the sec- came from. We switched it up. And so, is, yeah, okay, it, well, I want to ask: Is there anybody <laughs> that you guys? I'll ask you both this question: Anybody mm. that you guys have met that you've actually been like a little starstruck from? Like, damn, Ooh, like I don't know how to talk to this person. Good one. Um, oh. I mean, I played golf with Phil Mickelson. That was pretty cool. And I, I damn, played golf with Steph. You know, Steph Curry. Sick. Did uh, that was pretty cool. Um, probably Donald Trump. I mean, when we did Trump, was pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, but a lot of them, man. Morgan Wallen, just me and Morgan chilling. And what's been the the hardest moment for you? Let's say in the last couple of years. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. No. No, not really. I don't know. They're, they're all equally as hard, or what? They're all equally as hard. I mean, obviously. I you just want to highlight it because, I, I, again, I think people watch watch the videos, they watch you, what you're doing, and they think everything is easy peasy. I know you still tell people what's going on. Yeah, I think I think you know, obviously, you know, when you lose somebody in your life, that's important to you. But I don't, you know, there's no need to fucking talk about that shit. Of course. You but know? even in terms of let's say, let's say moving forward, <laughs> as I now, fucking just talked exactly. about everywhere. No, no, it's all good. <laughs> moving forward now, let's say, um, in terms of you as a person, are you looking? To be in a relationship, or are you looking to start a family? Like as a man, not anymore. Not I mean, anymore. I mean, uh, you know, I always, I always wanted a family and whatnot. I mean, I think that everything happens for a reason. Hopefully, so mm. I think that I'm probably just putting that in the back burner because what I did is I always put my relationships one in my business too, which I kind of regret. That's so, kind of that's yeah, that's not mm. good. So yeah, it wasn't good. So you know, now that's a learning lesson. That's a learning lesson. So now I think it's just straight business, and then just that's that. I have no interest in really any True. any dating or any relationship. And whatsoever. how about how about your family? Like, what are they thinking about everything that's been going on, and, and how have they supported you? Uh, I don't know. I mean, nothing. Because you live a pretty wild life, so. Yeah, I mean, I think that it's just basically that they support me. They're cool. My parents have been married 40 years. They're, like, Sick. I have a great family. They have my back and shit. They know that I'm off the rails, and so there's not much they can do. They can, <laughs> they can, <laughs> they can offer me advice and whatnot, and I'll, you know, usually don't take it because I'm, you know, a maniac, but still respect and their. Is there, is there anyone you do take advice from? Of course, advice from of course, John. John takes advice from me. I think sometimes I think it's a good mutual we thing. We collaborate on stuff. We'll, we'll bounce shit off of each other before before it happens. Yeah. And, and even what you're kind of just alluding to on this, he's you know, when's this airing? This week or next week? Or it doesn't matter. We don't. Yeah. I don't want to. Re- talk re- re- regardless, it's like you know, like you said earlier, it's kind of catching him in the bad spot right right this second. Okay. But he's fucking bouncing back, man. He's fucking bouncing back. I just, yeah, I just, yeah, so just, let, let, let's highlight this shit. You asked you what puts a fire under your fucking yeah, ass. Yeah. Here's what puts a fire under your fucking ass. You know, maybe you don't want to say it publicly, but like, hey, you leaving that other podcast you were a part of, leave you aborted Ripper Magoo to go do fucking that. Now you're not a part of that anymore. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Get a Ripper Magoo back on the fucking map. <laughs> okay, how are we doing that? Who have we got in lately? Fuck it. Oh, I don't know. Howie Mandel. That's a pretty good fucking Crazy. name. Crazy. Huge name. You know yeah. what the yeah. fuck? These are the biggest stars yeah. on the fucking but planet. It, He's able to pull on his fucking thing. So one of the things we fucking have talked about is like, dude, these Dana White, Howie Mandel, these fucking people, dude, they don't want to see this shit that you're putting on but your you know Instagram what's funny stories and dark fucking but spots. But hold on, hold on. Like, we, we, we want to see Bob up on the top of the fucking mountain. But wait a second. Mountain. But wait a second. If you look at the difference in views, though, not that it really matters to me, but there does kind of yeah. matter to me a little bit right now. <laughs> of course. Because yeah, it's yeah, business now, whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 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 So, I mean, you look at when I do go personal shit. I mean, that yeah. one of the most recent episodes I did where I got really personal yeah. about something got, you know, on Rumble, you know, 175,000 views. Did well, yeah. And yeah. did well compared to, like, a 
guy yeah. like that that yep. you know is great and has had an amazing career but you know what i'm really good at is when i want to build a fucking storyline that's like real and i'm really passionate about it yeah uh, i'm pretty good at marketing yeah. that you know what i mean but that's what yeah. hits though bro people want to know the life of of their favorite creator or one of their favorite influences like that's what the fuck they want to know right. about yeah. so as much as it's kind of hard to sometimes put that shit out it's like yeah Bro, look. At the end of the day, we can all sit here and say, "Yo, views don't matter." But if we don't get views, none of this is no, no, nothing. Not, like none of this is here. Yeah. We don't yeah. have fucking cash, bro. Straight up. I mean, not yeah. you. I know you're fucking loaded. <laughs> but like, you know, what I mean? maybe yeah. for us, for you us at views. least, you need it, right? Yeah, yeah. But actually, I actually, actually want to ask you a yeah. quick question though, because we talk about relationships a lot. Just like, like how, like how it is to run a business and be in a relationship to get married. We talk about all this shit a lot. Right. And like, I'm single, and then he, he's so we're we're the opposite right now. Yeah, right? we're in opposite positions. Okay. Yeah. And. uh like, I know you have children, mm -hmm. divorced, married. Mm -hmm. What's your situation? I'll tell you what, man. I'll share this fucking story with that question, bro. I, I, I look back when I just quit my job in corporate America to start my own company. Yeah. Back in 2005. It was six months after I got fucking divorced. And okay. I always kind of sit back and wonder, if I was happily married still and all my energy was going towards this marriage and I was making my... 150, 200 grand in corporate America, but I was happy at home with a wife and a kid and we're doing this shit. Would I ever have left that mm -hmm. to start my own? I had a gap. Yeah. You know, I, I had a hole that needed yeah. to be filled and it wasn't going to happen through a relationship. So now yeah. I was motivated. You know what? Fuck this fucking job. I'm going to go fucking dedicate my ass 80 hours to working for my fucking self. And I was able to build an empire by fucking doing it. Yeah. And I always questioned myself if I stayed married. Would I ever have the desire to find something to fulfill me? I don't. I don't know. It's true. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of like you know, but you guys, a blessing. Your you, wife might be holding well, you back, buddy. Well, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say, do you guys believe that mm -hmm. you can do it though? This for, is a for, really for bad sure. fucking day. To talk to <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, I'm John, sorry, thanks bro. for arranging this. <laughs> this is a very bad fucking day. Yeah, Come on, it's a great post a lot of stories. <laughs> but, but okay, but I want to ask you both: Do you believe it can be done? Because listen, He's there, there, checking are, the story there, there are stories. Well, Bob, Bob, we're both I know, I'm playing, I'm playing. No, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. There, there, there are, there are, sto there are success stories. There are obviously yeah. failures, but I, I, I will say this. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You only know what you know. All right. But, and yeah. if you have happiness with your wife and with the family you're creating and you're two, well, you guys are already entrepreneurs, you're already doing this, but but say you're a guy at, at, at Accenture, some consulting firm, and you're making 175 grand a year, but you have a hot wife and you have two little kids and you're part of the golf club and you like your neighbors, everything's great. This is all you see and, and you're fucking happy, yeah. all right? But getting fucking divorced, okay, now it all went away. Okay, well, shit, now my head's on a swivel. I need to find something else, boom. Yeah. Okay. And for me, that resulted into really rising from a professional standpoint. Yes. Would I have never, I, I don't know if I would have been looking for it. Yeah. yeah. I would yeah, have yeah. been very happy climbing that corporate ladder. You'll never yeah. know. You know, because you know what I would have been happy with? Dude, we're going to Cancun next December. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I wouldn't have been retired when I was 37. Yeah. yeah. You know, I got my son here right now. I could do whatever the fuck I want with him. Jake, yeah. we're getting on a fucking plane. Bob wants us to come out to LA. We're filming this it's cool, crazy. We're cool filming this cool <laughs> podcast. When, Dad? Tomorrow. So, so clearly, you have like a lot of experience when it comes to business, when it yeah. comes to like you've seen a lot, you've done a lot. Yeah. Right. So at this point now, working with Bob, what are you trying to kind of implement into this project with Bob and, and what are you trying to bring to the table? So so so, so here's what's interesting. When when me and Bob start, first started fucking around with each other, I felt that this was gonna be a very one sided relationship where he needs people around him, but I was really gonna be the one benefiting from it because of his social media. Okay. Okay. And I what could I really bring to the table? Yeah. As we've become fucking friends and mm. hanging out with each other more. Now now let's let's call let's be fucking honest. I'm going to the fucking NFL draft. We're walking in like fucking VIPs next to the fucking stage. I ain't doing that if he ain't. We're bringing true, it. True, you true. know what I mean? Yeah, we're, we're not walking through crowds. People giving us fucking high fives, taking pictures with us. True. That ain't happening for, you know, by myself. Yeah. So I'm getting shit like that out of it. But what I've, what I've learned, though, is... Um, me being around him ain't a bad thing for him. No, I mean, I think, it, too, yeah. if I fuck with somebody, like, and you know I mean? I mean, you're successful and you have a good, like, fucking mind around you, I know that we're going to figure something out. Yeah. And yeah. John's like... 
nice enough to be able to give us some resources to be able to shoot here once in a while to do all this shit mentor you know give advice give all that you know and so that's i, I will we'll, you know we, when you come friends with somebody and you fuck with them because i kind of have a you know I, I keep a small crew i don't really hang out with too many people well that's what i was going to ask I was, you i was going to ask if like being in your position it's hard to find these kind of relationships these genuine relationships where you know value goes both ways Mm-hmm. And people yeah. are just trying to use you. I don't think that, like, you know... That's I, it. Well, I, well said. I, yeah, I don't think that... Uh, like, do you come across that a lot? Yeah, I mean, if I just... If I fuck with you, I fuck with you. That's it. I mean, yeah. I, you know, that's basically it. True. You know? Okay. Pretty much you just if I... know how to read people? I mean, I'll tell you how I read people. What I do is if I sit down in, like, a meeting with somebody and I want to get to know who they are, I'll just take my phone out, do a quick story... And then I'll just wait, and I'll get all the dirt on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. But, but it, oh, but is that what you just did to us right now, bro? No, I, well, we know we who you guys, I know <laughs> you guys are. It, no it goes back no one else. even knows us, so you're good, bro. You, you could have transactional relationships. Yes, okay? sure, of like, course. Hey, Bob, put me on your fucking story, and I'll give you two grand or whatever. Trade this for that. Quid pro quo, right? Mm-hmm. But like, it doesn't really fucking work like long term unless you actually get along. Yes, you know what I mean. Of course. And, and what's Bob bring to the table for for anybody, for a brand, for a person? Presence on social media. Of course. Okay? Destruction. Well, well yeah. his followers. <laughs> Destruction. If, yeah, if his followers will see, it's fucking bullshit if like the people don't really fucking get along yeah you yeah. know what i mean it's true and this guy protects the shit out of this fucking brand so fucking bad sometimes i like needed help on a fucking reel like three weeks ago oh, buddy i want this fucking out of there will you please share it it's fucking i'm not sharing that at the motherfucker you know what i mean like, like well, i'll just be honest with you i think yeah. it sucks i'm like why the fuck you know, you know. Like, dude, you sound like an arrogant you sound like an arrogant prick on there i go fuck you dog. yeah, yeah. It's very true. It's very, true. very, true. very. We also need that on it, like straight up. If you guys are gonna work together, do bit like, bro, you gotta be straight up. Yeah. At the same yeah, time, right? Exactly. But he'll he'll fucking change his mind with the wind blowing too sometimes. Yeah. But, yeah. Definitely. So Bob, in terms of this partnership now yeah. that mm-hmm. you guys are having here, I mean, I wouldn't really call it a partnership. Well, it looks like it. Yeah. All looks right. like it. Right. Feels like it. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing some shit together. Yeah, we're doing a, shit a, together. A domestic partners. partnership. Yeah, partners. I think John yeah, John can help me provide some infrastructure in certain areas that I'm very interested in getting into. Yeah. You know, and that's what I'm I'm interested in that he's an expert in. What's happening right now is Bob's starting to actually, I think, well, not starting. We've earned a trust at this point where he actually listens to shit I fucking say. Okay, one of the, one of the conversations we had recently with with but, his antics on, on social media. Yeah, really. I got sorry, what? I had the funniest story. Uh, it was about my son? No, <laughs> no, no. About my daughter no, no, no. I was just going to say, I was going to say, this is the funny thing. John's like, you know, we have that relationship the other day. John's not here, and I end up... Uh, Fucking some girl on his uh, bed. And nice. Next I got day, fucking pink eye. next day you got pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> he no, was part of the I'm deal. I'm just kidding. I made. I really did make that up. Kind of. Listen. I never. Wait, was that real or not? John's like, stay out of that room. I was like, first room I'm going went to. Straight yeah. in it, right? Uh, I did get fucking pink eye from my own fucking condo, and it wasn't. Dude, for me. but he doesn't have pink. Here's what my optimist. I was the only one who get pink eye. Here's what the ophthalmologist said. Okay, I have an ophthalmologist now. Who's your ophthalmologist? You actually have one now because my eye was so fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I go, dude, no one else around me has fucking pink eye. He goes, it's a virus. It affects everyone else different. This person might be coughing. This person might be puking. You might have a fucking uh, bad case of pink eye. <laughs> So anyway, That's I, tough. I, I didn't get it from myself, Bob. I didn't get it from my motherfucking self. <laughs> all right? this, what I was trying to say was in terms of partnerships, Yeah, mm-hmm. you've been a part of many, right? Mm-hmm. You've probably been part of many, too. I'm just going to assume. Yeah. I mean, okay? yes. What have you learned about partnerships now you're trying to bring into this relationship now? What am I trying to say it again? What, what have you learned from past partnerships that didn't work out, that worked out, that you want to bring to the table now with you and John? Or just moving forward? Um, I mean, I, I like I said, it goes back to my point is just, you know, you're my you're my boy. We're going to no, but you've thought that before, too. Yeah. I mean, I think that once it come push comes to shove and then yeah. it comes to fucking paperwork and stuff that we do, it's True. like, well, then we actually hand it over to fucking attorneys that know what the fuck they're doing. Okay. That's that's what probably the next move would be, because. But how about the human side, Bobby? He's saying, hey, have you learned anything from see sometimes with life, especially his life? It's so fluid. Here, we're on to the next thing. We're on to the next thing. We're on to the next thing. There's, there's sometimes not a moment. Let's take a step back. Reflect. Okay. Yes, yes. This happened with these motherfuckers seven months ago, and they're about to be billionaires off their fucking seltzer fucking drink. That, oh, wait, I was part of that. Now I'm not part of that. Did I learn anything from this? Sometimes yes. sometimes you don't take that moment to take you need that, to. that you fucking need back. To. Exactly. You need to. Exactly. Yeah. And these are, me and him have conversations like this, and he helps me too. He's like, dude, don't post that. It's 
fucking cringy. I go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the advice I give him. I go, Bob, from a legal standpoint, we should do this. And his advice to me is, dude, that's cringy. Take it down. <laughs> no, but I think it's important you say that because if, if you don't stop and reflect, it's almost like the mistake happened for no reason or, or the situation happened for no reason. If you don't take anything from it. Right, exactly. And you're, you're kind of touching on a sore subject for him because because he sees it differently than other people see of course. it. And it's an argument, right? And it's, yeah. it, it, it's one of those things going right now. But 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 I, I here, here's how I look at life, okay? This motherfucker, yeah, he has three million plus followers on Instagram, right? But not everyone knows him. Okay, maybe I only got a hundred thousand or so. All right, guess what? Not all of my people are following fucking him. True. Some of his fucking people are following me. That's part of my hundred fucking thousand, but not all of them. Yeah. You know, ninety five thousand probably not. You know what I mean? So 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 Bob, these ninety five thousand, man, I'm posting you all the time. Now we're in shit together all the fucking time. This glimpse is your first impression you're giving your these people. people. Yes. yes. This is the first impression you're giving. Well, welcome, well, welcome to the fucking Wild Wild West, baby. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but again, again, reinventing yourself, right? <laughs> you know? So, so, so I think just the, the consciousness, uh, you know, of, of that. And then also when shit happens, dude, like on a regular basis and things start not going your way, one thing after a fucking number with yeah. this person or that person. And this is not advice for him. It's advice for anybody. Yeah. Okay. At some point, you start pointing the thumb instead of the finger. This okay. is directly directed at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, but, but if the common me. denominator is, is me, yeah. fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Wait, wait. Hold on. You guys all get along with each other, though. Yeah. Maybe I'm the fucking problem. Yeah. yeah. And once you have the maturity level to actually start seeing it's it accountability, that way, yes. Yeah. You know, life yeah. could change. But, but, but you mentioned, like, which is 100% true. You got to, like... Bro, am I the fucking problem here or not? Yeah. Is it me, yeah. right? Do I need to get yeah. out of this? But like, even, okay, even to the point earlier of like reinventing yourself, right? Like, okay, John, you're taking an approach. I feel like on social media, who you're showing today is who you've been forever. Right. Right? I think so. I, I would imagine. I'm just, yeah. I mean, we, we just met over social media. We're mean today. You seem like the guy mm. that I saw on social media. Mm. And uh, but, but in terms of Bob, you're saying you're kind of like, real, you're trying to realign things. But like, I think people also love the chaos. Yeah, but we got We need a little realigning, like, though. You know what I'm saying? Which is a little you bit like it, it's toxic we, as fuck, which sucks. But, <laughs> but it's also like your brand in a way. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. But also, <laughs> yes, that's just I, I, you know what I'm I saying? agree. You could, you could still be chaotic without coming I, across I, a yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, pussy. I agree, though. but there are, <laughs> but there are, there are things that you need to. Chaotic I pussy. know. I agree with that. Trust me. But there are things that. You know, you need to. I forgot what my point was because I got called a pussy. <laughs> um, yeah, that's gone. No, I don't think no, 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 no. Like, listen, like it, the brand is a little chaotic. Yes, it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, but all yeah, but like, if you leave me in a room by myself and I, and I don't really go out that much, like it, truthfully, I, I pace around the fucking kitchen. If I'm by myself, does, having yeah. an extra ear around always helps. Yeah, you yeah. know, because yeah. they can tell you you're fucking dumb. True. Or, but, you know? but isn't some of the people that have monetized the most has, have been the ones that are able, able to structure that fucking chaos? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. 100%. Phase clan, which we're, which, which, Malk, you which name we're, we, it. Which like, we, we, we have Bob? struggled. Exactly. Well, and why can't he do that? Yeah. He's independent. He's he's him by himself. Who the fuck else is what Timmy bounce back? Like, like, That's what I was going to say. You, know you don't really have like a, a team or well, anything. No, I, just, I mean, I'm fine with being just... I don't really... No. I'm fine with just being a talent, you know, and stuff. And just... I don't really care about making a fuck ton of money. True. But I also do want to tighten it up now because I'm just angry. Well, I think that's what a lot of people are interested in knowing because right now you're in a phase where you're clearly trying to level up to another level, get get back to wherever you want to be. But how are you going to level up? Consistency and just staying sober, yep. staying off fucking shit that I had a problem with before. Yeah. Like, which, and just eliminating your fucking demons and your bad habits that you have that you fucking and just getting dialed yeah but That's a team it. a team would be important for you though no like some uh, people to like a kind team of would question, definitely be important yeah you know a te- yeah a team would definitely be important so yeah, some good people around him i'm around him he's got yeah, our, yeah. our buddy lj is around him that's part of the producer like, I, I, he's got the right people around him but we just gotta, gotta figure out what we're gonna do with it you know it, it, it's, a, it's not just bob there's other people that are bringing shit to the table too hey what could we fucking Bob's talking don't about you it. don't you guys know I'm Academy Award winning nominee for Roadhouse, the movie with Jake Gyllenhaal? <laughs> is that what you are? <laughs> is anybody fucking? Is that what you are? <laughs> Wait a minute, what? a movie with uh, McGregor and Gyllenhaal. Uh, 100. That's why we're doing the pod with you. You want to know a funny story? So I I, I do this movie and uh, with with Gyllenhaal and uh, which is pretty fucking cool. So I go down there and I'm playing the, this bad guy, Joel Silver. I meet him at UFC. He, you know, wants to put me in the movie, obviously, because I'm guessing that like you know. I mean, I'm a fantastic actor. 
but uh, also because obviously we can help like Mark in the movie. Long story short, as you know, I'm, I'm doing so well in the movie. I'm down there for like a month in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, I go to Vegas, and Joel's down there. And so I see him, and he's like, "Hey, you don't believe it? Doug Lyman, who directed like Born Supremacy, Born on the Main, like you got, you got to go to, we got to go to the Dominican Republic. We got, to, we got a boat in the middle of the ocean. We got to fucking take this thing. We got to shoot this scene. You got to be there. I fucking need you there." Yeah. And I'm like, "Yeah, all right, man, no worries. So I'll be there." Long story short, I didn't have a fucking passport, and I lost it in <laughs> Vegas. Oh so God. I fucking they have the whole entire scene. The director flies down in a private plane. There's a boat in international waters. Yeah. That. I can't get to, and I have to be in this scene. You're the guy. And so, long story short, I ended up having a like, I mean, they got, I almost made it without a problem. Like, and all the the producers, the movie, but they were going nuts trying to figure out how to get me into how the country. And uh, finally, I think I just took a speedboat with two two dudes and just zoomed in there, <laughs> and then got stuck <laughs> in customs. It's in international <laughs> water. I swear to God, <laughs> we fuck? landed in St. Thomas, and it was like, zoom. Yeah, like that's a real story. You like acting? I mean, it was it was definitely an interesting experience. I mean, it, it was fucking scary as shit because it's like you know you the thirty camera like you know it's a bunch of cameras and a bunch of people just watching you and you're dealing with an A list actor yeah like him and he knows what the fuck he's doing and then he'll play with the scenes and shit true but I I, I used to I used to dabble in acting I, I was a fake acting coach when I was younger fake acting coach I charged twenty five dollars I would post my ads on Craigslist and I would host acting camps at the library Shut my up. public library and let's just say all my students always came back did you do yeah you did well how many how many how many how many students at a time though uh one one at a time and i probably had about over time 20 people that i worked with for but why were you fake though because i didn't know what the fuck i was doing <laughs> <laughs> okay i mean i hey, was bro. totally a made-up until you make it though yeah um, I, I, wanna, I would I just like turn out the lights, big deep breaths. Do you feel it? Yeah. Oh, oh you were doing those ones. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I want to ask about your relationship with Dana White. Hey, like, oh, call, he called me a pussy in front of seven million people. I yeah, that. that's why I'm asking. That's yeah. why I'm fucking asking because I feel like uh, you guys had had a relationship. Currently, still do. I don't know. Yeah, Dana and I talk all the time. So I mean, time with him last night. Okay. Right yeah. Face time together. Shit. Yeah, Dana, they called you a pussy. That's why I was like, what the fuck? No, Dana, you know, I mean, he, Dana just fucking will always tell it how it is. I have yeah. no problem with him calling me a pussy. I was being a pussy. So, okay. I mean, basically, Dana will just let me have it. I mean, he's the kind of guy that will post you and do that. And then I call him that night. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Why well, it's you? Good to, it's and good he's like, you're that. a pussy. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Right. You need yeah, that fair. sometimes, yeah, okay. though. Yeah, so he's just a straight shooter. I love Dana. Dana's done so much for, for me. And I think that, you know, for with, with the Nelk boys, when we, we brought them over, you know, to Abu Dhabi, when I, I knew that that partnership would be good. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, I introduced them together and said that these guys are going to be really good for the sport. True. Flew him to Abu Dhabi. They all got along like spaghetti and fucking meatball, and yeah. I had a panic attack and left. <laughs> we, we heard. I, I remember. Mm. And, and Steiny. And Zirat. <laughs> Zirat. How oh, do you, that, uh, that, that's got to be one of the most, one of the craziest come up stories of all time. He's a sneaky little Zirat? fuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he. Uh, I remember Zirat. By the way, when I first uh, hired Zirat, he was a goal. And he came in, and he was such a fucking pussy. He was like, hi, how are you? Like, <laughs> like a little bitch. And I was like, hey, man. He's like, well, my father's the best criminal defense attorney in the world, and uh, I, uh, I host underground poker games. I'm like, you're hired. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. <laughs> <They're> done. <Yeah. laughs> it's a good so, bio. And so then he just came and just fucking worked for me for a year and then actually got hired by Steve and them when we went to Abu Dhabi. Yeah. So I left, and S Steve called me and was basically like, hey, dude, like, we love Steiny. Do you? I want your blessing, though. Can I come and hire fucking Steiny for my shit? And I'm like, fucking take him. <laughs> that's the yeah. That's go. the way you're gonna So go then he went to work for them, and he worked his way up. I mean, Steiny, he's a little fucking bitch sometimes and a little weasel, but in a good way. I love, I love him. I mean, he was with me. He did a lot for me. Steiny did took care of me when I was had some fucking crazy times. Do you, st you still chat with him? Yeah, I mean, see, what I didn't like, what I didn't like about it is because obviously me and Nelk had our like little thing, yeah. sure. and so what kind of pissed me off was, you know, and I guess it's for business, but when you kind of just, you know, you got to remember who fucking true who brought you up, mm. yeah. no matter what. Mm. Yeah. And then when you're when you're not answering my calls and shit, and like you know, we're not talking because of that business. That business doesn't exist without me. Mm. Yep. So I never forget where it fucking came from. True. Yeah. Proud of you. Go have that seat. There's no. I'm. I'm I, that's what I'm cheering for you. 
Yeah. But show respect. But you, that's the thing with Bob. He, the homage is not being paid back to him. It's not the fact that they're yeah. still doing shit together. Like, so, so take Timmy Bounce back, for instance. He's fucking around with Steve Will Do It and stuff. Yeah. Bob's obviously not part of that formula anymore. Where'd Timmy come from? He came from fucking Bob. Yeah. Him and Timmy are still fucking boys. You know why? Because homage is fucking paid. And I'm the same fucking way. Call fucking Petty or whatever. You fuck me over on something like that. Or yeah. you use me to try to climb or something. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I exist. Fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah, well, this is what see, I'm saying, right? Like, with all the, the situations and the amount of people that say that's fucked you over, mm-hmm. you should have, like, a crazy I don't fire. Think that, I don't think that there's a lot of people that have fucked it's me not, over. It's not, not even intentionally. Sometimes intentionally. Yeah, I think that it's... I think you're too nice, bro. Straight up. You could be. You I mean, be, you're too I, nice. I, I, These guys I, don't win all the time, eh? No, they don't. But, I mean, it's not that... I mean, I just don't... Yeah, I don't really I take things as seriously as I should. You, you know? should, yeah. And so that's that's just kind of my because thing. Because if that shit was happening to me, bro, I, I would be like what fired I, up. What, what am I going to do? Ask Stiney for 10% of lifetime no, earnings? No, no, no. But just like, no, I'm not even <laughs> hey, listen, I'm not even saying directly with, Why not like, try it out, bro? bro. Let's oh, see yeah, someone, that. right? But I would just be like, I'm just trying to prove all these people fucking wrong now. You got to take a... Well, gotta, I, that's that's not my motive. That's I don't need move? to prove... No, it's not that, but that just to get you get you going again, you know, like get get some sort of fire, you know. Yeah, um, see what I mean. The fires, the fires, the fires. There, it's just you know, it's I, for me. It's more about I gotta just take care of my mental fucking health. That's okay. the most but important I, I, thing. I feel like you could like pull like a portnoy and have all the bottles. The champagne bottles with everyone, like all your enemies. Yeah, you know I mean? like you'd have a fucking probably a, a whole club. Like it'd be like eleven nightclub. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, Portnoy and I have actually talked a little bit after that happened. When I went to do that, me and Portnoy had that little beef. That was like early on. That was like super. When early, it was yeah. just like really nothing that serious, and it was just kind of like a fun thing that I just kind of poked the bear and kind of regretted it because. <laughs> Forgot that audience is pretty big. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> forgot he forgot he was Dave Portnoy. But we did survive that onslaught, which was good. Yeah. There's not a lot of people that survive a Portnoy onslaught. He's very good at what he does. True. And he's done a great job with his fucking company. So. Yeah, he can really like take someone down, like for real, like like make someone want to fucking kill themselves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you you mentioned that you're you're focused on your mental health now. I mean, uh, yeah. So bad habits, addiction, stuff like that. How are you getting through that right now? Because I feel like a lot of people that are watching deal with addictions, deal with bad habits. I feel like everyone almost does. So how are you getting through that? Um, well, I think that anything that triggers those addictions and whatnot, you got to eliminate first. Okay. And then you got to fall. I mean, it's, I'm, I've been, I've been, you know, with my, it's not like I ever, like I had, used to have a really bad cocaine issue back in the day, okay. way, way back in the it's day. It's easy to get one of right? those. Right. Yep. And I haven't touched that shit. You're dumb if you fucking do it. You'll die yeah, fucking yeah. with all the shit going on now and anything. And so, you know, I obviously then was prescribed to Adderall, okay. which was, you know, a lot to of To get off the cocaine? To, no, no. Okay. Just, <laughs> I, was, I was like, wait, <laughs> hold on. What's yeah, they're happening like, here? The doctor's <laughs> like, all right, Bob, yeah, here's a 30 <laughs> milligram <laughs> bomber. <laughs> you go from heroin to methadone to get yeah. off. They're just trying to ease you off. No, it, was, Adderall, it, was never, it was never that bad, but <laughs> That's fucking for, great. for me, it's like I just, you know, I, uh, I just got to, yeah, I mean, I just... It, I, I recently got a little back doing it again because I just fucking sp- had some shit happen and I can't allow that. I got to just realize like, you know, because that shit gets me hyper focused, but it has a lot of negative. I think it's a very dangerous fucking drug. That's for sure. And I think if you if you can't take it in the right way, it's it's, you, you know, it's it's fucking. So you just you're, you're kind of using it as an escape from from certain. Situations. No, I'm good. I mean, because I'm not it's it, this is like a weak period. Like yeah. I'm not going. I told you I'm not like. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I'll openly speak about this stuff. Like, you know, it's it's something that would you you but correct them though. Would you say you're addicted to Adderall right now? Uh, I I promise you this. I am fucking one hundred percent. When I wake up tomorrow morning, there is a new fucking Bob starting tomorrow morning because I am fucking rip shit. It's some shit that went down. And that's what fire fuels me. That's what motivates me. Usually, you gotta even replace those habits with new habits. I'm I'm very I'm at a t- point in my life where I'm very motivated. I don't like the guy I am right now, so I'm at a point where well, I'm. I think like, that's the the first step. Yeah. You look at yourself. Yeah. So, you know, just gotta. So what, fuck. you're gonna get jacked? You're gonna go to the gym? <laughs> you're gonna meditate? Well, this what is the problem. I always say that, and I just fucking walk in and just like be like, like fuck this. I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. You know. So I yeah. think you could do it, dude. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah, looking for, yeah, the gym. Yeah. You know, the most important thing is just like fucking get the brain cleared a little bit, you know. Well, like, but you guys are leaving LA. Where, what's the next destination? We're going, we're going to go to Chicago with him, and then I'm probably going to end up going back to Boston to just, 
Uh, I got some stuff I got to tighten up at the apartment and just all that. I live in Seaport, so cool. We got we got three days lined up of pretty important business type setting kind of shit with good business people. It's gonna be very different setting than podcast studios and bars in LA. You know what I mean? So <laughs> good to change the environment sometimes. Exactly. Though. Yeah, yeah it's only like you said. It's so much. I don't, so I don't like this place. Everything just mm -hmm. negative happens here. Well, maybe me. just you had you have bad things that happened in the past and you connect it to being oh here. yeah it's just every fucking yeah. time it's no it's not fucking LA. dude the air here is it's demonic <laughs> i don't give a fuck I say, it, dude, it's fucking it's demons everywhere yeah. we say it all the time but I, I'm, I'm curious like to ask both you guys this question like mm -hmm. you pull up to like a serious business meeting okay yep are you coming like suit and tie or are you coming fucking like bob you rocking the blazers you yeah. coming with the this track is, yeah, this is it. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah. What's, what's, what's the go-to attire? Big well, business meeting. I'll tell you when I was when I was growing my fucking company, I was in, insur in insurance, and I, I would have a fucking rule. I'm gonna be the best dressed person I meet today. All right, okay, nice. and I was like better than the CFO or the client, better than fucking anyone, and that included Friday afternoons, dude. There was no fucking such thing as casual Friday yeah. in my company, especially if we were seeing clients. If nobody had one client meeting in the whole fucking office. Then fine, maybe we would do casual Friday, but fuck that. So I feel bad, man. These guys coming out of college right now, post pandemic, this is not reality, dude. Yeah. This and it's not fucking sustainable. And 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 and, and these kids with their first jobs now, not being able to be in an office to have go go have lunch with Jim, the forty year old that's fucking been there for twenty years to bounce ideas off of, or or Susie, the fucking secretary that's gonna tell you, oh, this is how it used to be here eight years ago. Yeah. Now you're working from fucking. There's no home. culture though. There's yeah. no culture, yeah. and, and you can't pick up the fucking shit, man. Yeah. Um, but now, and I never thought I would be this guy though, bro. Like now. Fuck it, man. I got to tell you, in L.A., <laughs> you go around dressed like fucking this. I got yeah. a fucking chain. And I'm going to tell you right now, dude, I was just in fucking Miami, yeah. and I tried to go to a fucking restaurant dressed like yeah. this. You got to dress up in fucking yeah. Miami. Yeah. I go, dude, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I thought, I thought I was in L.A. I was yeah, I'll nice never go to any of those fucking places. Yeah. But, dude. I can't, I can't do it. I got too used to fucking L.A., yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You walk into fucking Mastro's like this. Walk yeah, L.A.'s kind of like, like that, though, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you know, L.A.'s like that. Miami, you can't. There was dress codes. Well, maybe the place I went to in Brickell. Well, maybe. I had to do I, when I had to when I lost that bet to Seth Curry. I had to wear his jersey for thirty days straight, bro. It was the hardest thing. I couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> Wait a minute, what, <laughs> what are you anywhere. talking about? What bet you lost? Uh, his jersey thirty Back in the shit. day, back in the day when I was yeah. normal, I I had I played <laughs> I played Steph Curry in golf in eighteen holes of Riviera, mm -hmm. and if I had won, uh, he had to implement me in three interviews throughout the NBA season. So, for example, he'd have to be like, you know, obviously tough, tough game today. Uh, I just want to say Bob Henry's the man. Uh, obviously, you know, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> right? So, <laughs> that's if I won. And then if I lost, I had to wear his jersey for 30 straight days and never it's a take good it trade, off. Though. It's a good and trade. and yeah. so I lost to him. He's a very good golfer. I lost to him in the 18th hole. Ooh. And uh, mm. it was the most, the worst. Thing I've ever had to experience was wearing his jersey. It got so days. fucking old. I'd have all these Golden mm -hmm. State Warriors fans come to me and like have conversations. <laughs> I fucking try to go to like Elefante. They're like, sir, we don't allow sports memorabilia. I had like a meeting with like Fox <laughs> and I'm like, or sports clothes. And I'm like, all right, well, I have to call the guys to be like, I can't take the shirt off. Like, I, I, I can't. <laughs> I lost yeah. a bet to Steph Curry, bro. Yeah. I'm so mad. I lost that jersey too. I wore it that like three was hanging off at the end. The zero was missing. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that was, uh, it was destroyed at the end. Yeah, that was fun. That was a, that was a, that was a good time. You have a, a very impressive Rolodex of contacts of, mm -hmm. of a network. Mm -hmm. How have you been able to maintain that throughout the last couple of years and your highs and lows? How have you been able to do that? Definitely lost a few. You know, you yeah. definitely lose a few. There's but a lot not the of, real ones. Not the real ones, but you definitely lose a few. Um, you know real quick, you know, yeah. if you go and message them or talk to them or text them and they don't respond to you and they're, Something you, did. you know, the pattern of how you usually talk to somebody, and they don't respond, you know that something's up. So yeah. then you send like 12 more. <laughs> there yeah. you go. <laughs> and then you FaceTime 13 times. What's up? Yo, what's up? You wake? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much No, yeah. because, man, the, the, the kind of context that you have in sports in, in, in general, to be honest, is, is crazy. Mm -hmm. I feel yeah. like, like no like ego. The, the relationships I, you have are insane. I, yeah, I, I mean, I, no I, yeah, yeah, I lost a lot. I lost a, not a lot of them because the Nelk, when I went to that stuff, you know, half went there, half went here. Um, but at the end of the day, definitely have met and know a lot of fucking cool people. I mean, I, I somehow got into this operation to evacuate people out of like Afghanistan when the Taliban took over somehow with one of my connections just like helping. It was like the most fucked. I mean, I was definitely fucked up that night and don't even know how. 
but like helped evacuate people out of the country. What? I what? swear to God, this is not no. something I'm just saying. I can't get into details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you were evacuating people out, out of Afghanistan. I know. I'm not even joking. Bob like, Menry was evacuating. <laughs> no, 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 I was like, <laughs> no. I was like, <laughs> what I, I, like flew you there? I, like, I, I'm not. I know. I was somehow <laughs> just involved in like helping <laughs> locate. And I don't know. I don't know what the fuck happened. Something yeah, yeah, happened yeah. in Afghanistan back yeah. in the day while I was fucking. So that's up. how connected you are, that you're saving people from Afghanistan. I don't know how it happened, <laughs> but yeah, I guess I know a lot of people. But like, John, but how, like, about, how about you, John? Being if in, you in listen business. to enough interviews with Bob, like little things like this will slip in every once in a while. Yeah, like, yeah, wait, yeah. What the fuck you do? It's what? crazy, huh? though. It's exactly. insane. Dude, it really fucking is. How about you in terms really? of relationships and, and maintaining them and building them as an entrepreneur? <sighs> I got to tell you, man, it, it, it fucking matters. I, I had a uh, situation... So back in the fucking day, I'm a nightclub promoter in Chicago. We were too. Okay, were you? Yeah, All we right. were both yeah. club promoters. So now you guys had the benefit of social media, though. I'm True. older than you, we motherfucker. Did. True, you were we flyering. Did. Dude, everything. we had the fucking flyer yeah, cars. Yeah, yeah. At every kid at Northwestern University, Loyola University, DePaul University, all the sororities, all the football players, everyone's coming to my fucking parties, and that's how I made a name for myself. Anyway, I ended up getting out of that and getting in white collar America right after college, but. The biggest nightclub promotion or biggest nightclub company, restaurant company in Chicago knew me because I was doing this shit for them way back then. True. They have a meeting with me a couple of days ago because they're building this big golf facility and they're looking for fucking investors. And I'm walking into that fucking meeting. I'm thinking, dude, they, th they got to think of me as 25 years ago, this little fucking promoter. Yeah. And it wasn't the case at all. They, yeah, they knew me back then. But you know what else they knew about me? That I operated with integrity. Yeah. I operated honorably. So it wasn't like, oh, you little shitty little fucking promoter, no, we don't no. respect you. Yeah. It's like, oh, they showed respect. that was that fucking promoter that was going to be something one day because he showed up on time, did what he said he was going to do, and operated in, in, in a way of someone you want to do business with. Yeah. yeah. You know what you I mean? You attracted it. Yeah. And, 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 I, and I think when it comes to partnerships and everything else, that shit follows you, man. You do the opposite, it follows you too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, that's that guy that's a fucking degenerate. Yeah. Oh, that's that guy that said he was going to get it back to me Wednesday and never did till the following fucking Monday. Yeah. Chipping away at your fucking credibility. True. Every yeah, fucking time you do that. So just shit. being a man of your word pretty much is what you're saying. Exactly. And there's people, dude, that I know make a lot of fucking money yeah. that did it in a way that I would, in a less than honorable way. Because they stepped on fucking toes or fucked people over or whatever, and they justified in their heads however they want. Dude, you got to look at the fuck. You got to be able to look in the fucking mirror at the end of the fucking it's day. True, man. You, you got to be able to look in the freaking mirror. And um, I, I just feel like I, I hate saying like the universe or karma or any of that shit. But in this case, it's true, man. You know what you put out there, one way, shape, or form, it's gonna, it's gonna come back. Well, to you mentioned it earlier in the podcast too. Coming here, mm -hmm. being the person you are, trying to attract other people that are. Yep. on the same wavelength as you yeah so do you believe in that believe in energy and and i i, I do and, and you know and you talk about like smaller circle like him him saying he has small circles of fucking friends i had this conversation with someone the other i thought you were gonna say a small dick someone else did uh, <laughs> oh no I, I, I promise you this uh, i don't know why i'm telling this to four dudes i'm not gonna you're say fucking hungry? what do you that promise what, say, what do you promise we're all good in that category all right we're all good we just gotta learn how to work it better i guess i don't know um, what was I saying? <laughs> what were we talking about? We are talking about energy. Talking about and dicks. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, talking about dicks, but also talking about energy. And, and do you believe in energy? Do you believe in putting things out there and, and getting it in return? Attracting things? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, we're talking about those circles, though. Yeah, the small, it's, it's, small circles. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. And, 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 it, and it's like, so, okay, so somebody asked me the other day, uh, that, that, why are you even, like, is Bob's only friends with you because you got fucking money? I go, yeah. I'm not giving him fucking money. Well, mm -hmm. wait a minute. Why am I friends with Bob? Well, I don't know. Would we have been friends if he wasn't like a you know a celebrity Absolutely. or something? Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. But we wouldn't have maybe crossed paths. Yes. However, we got there. Now we're fucking here. Okay, dude. Like you, you gotta fucking latch on to people you come across. And yeah. and I can tell you right fucking now, I got people that I tried to keep in my life back from my fucking childhood, from my high school, and I was super like inclusive of everybody, especially as I came up. And then you start to learn, dude. These people don't want to be a part of your life True. they don't want to be constantly reminded how much more successful you are than them they, 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 it was kind of cool when you were a novelty like you lived in the trump tower downtown but now you're out in the suburbs with them i, I do they don't want this in their face you yeah. know what i mean and True. you know you see it on the likes on facebook's get a little bit lower no one yeah. wants to see this yeah. shit you know what i mean yeah. okay fine then you replace those people that with people that 
do want to see it, people that you could actually grow from. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I think that's probably the biggest thing I've learned over the last fucking couple of years. And I'm really trying to align myself with people that, you know, want to give off that similar energy, man. But, but, you but know, you're, and Bob's you're, one of them. But you're being very honest, and I think people mm-hmm. can't do that, where it's like, bro, every fucking friendship, relationship is a transaction, straight up. Yeah. Like, that's the reality. I don't know what. What do you mean by that? Yeah. Sorry? What do you mean by that? Like, you're getting something from the person, yeah. like, and, and vice versa. And it doesn't necessarily mean it's money. It doesn't have to be monetary. It, like, wh- whether you're getting a fucking ear for, of someone to, like, they just listen to. You can vent to this person. Yep. Everything's a fucking transaction. That's the reality. Make sure you're not getting fucking played. And now here's the other thing. Like, sometimes in these transactions, when you look at friendships, it's like, sometimes one person's doing more for a certain period of time one person's giving 90, the other person's giving 10. But if you're like real friends, you actually fuck with each other, that usually, that pendulum swings. Yep. And one day, you're getting 90, and they're giving 10, or vice versa. Right, right, right. You know what I'm trying to say? So yep. I feel like... And then give I'm you like, a great example when of that. Z- when it's zero and 100 <laughs> is when you get out of that shit, yeah, Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. Yes. When it becomes zero yeah. and 100, you have to leave. But in, in, yeah. if, if it doesn't ever change... Right. Then, then that's a shitty transaction. It's like a business deal. Like, yeah. bro, if you're giving 90 fucking percent, the other person's giving 10 forever, yep. get the fuck out. Yep. yep. Right? Dude, and if you operate in a way where you're not trying to do it underhandedly, right? Like, of course, okay. of course. Like, like, okay, so this dude's fucking, I'm in Chicago, and I'm fucking seeing it on Instagram stories. Oh, wait, does that look like my condo in the background? They're doing fucking podcasts in my fucking condo. <laughs> like, condo. <laughs> which one? Which, in Chicago? Not yet. Right here, where oh, you're sitting oh, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, but but it's like okay, yeah. but but it wasn't like sneakily done or anything like that. It's like motherfuckers, I'm in fucking Chicago. You guys are doing podcasts on my fucking kind Okay, but wait a minute, I just fucking got so and so on my podcast and totally fucking leveraged fucking Bob. Hey, Bob's gonna co-host this one. Would I have gotten this? kind of celebrity type of person to even do it if I didn't name drop fucking about okay you know and, and these are yeah these are the things that are taking fucking place but, yeah. but but that's being honest though and that's the thing well and also if you're if you're fucking um self uh I don't know not self-aware but uh I don't know what's the self-confident yeah, yeah. Like, you're not fucking worried about this yeah, shit. Well, you're yeah. not counting. Because, you're because not going to score. Bro, if, if you're up my fucking ass all the fucking time and you're always coming to my pool parties and not bringing any fucking beer. And you guys need a beer or no? Sorry, I'll take one too. Uh, yeah, I'll take one. Yeah, too. I'll take one. And okay. you're constantly. You guys have a piss real quick, John? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Oh, it gives me a chance to talk. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, you know, and, and I think that was the epiphany that I had with people I grew up with. Yeah. Really, over the last three years, guys, wow. and, and you start to realize as you guys get more and more successful in your mm-hmm. life, maybe you've already experienced it. Of course, these people you're trying to hang on to, dude, they're not happy for you, bro. Yeah, they're coming yeah. to your fucking parties, they're going around you. But when you're walking down, they're, they're hoping you get a DUI tomorrow yeah, night yeah, and yeah, end yeah, up yeah, in yeah. fucking jail. If yeah. if you get a DUI tomorrow, are they gonna look at their girlfriend or their fucking wife and be like, fuck? John got a DUI, or they're gonna be like, <laughs> "Fuck it, fucking well, guy, yeah, yeah, that fucking idiot." Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Are they literally gonna be happy in their fucking head? Yeah. The same person that you just had over for a steak dinner, the same person that you invite to events that they have no business fucking going to. Yep. yep. Are they gonna be fucking happy or fucking pissed if yep. you get a DUI? Yeah. That's fucking ask yourself that. Well, day. I think yeah. the more successful you become, the more people there are out there that are praying. On your downfall, you know, yes. because yes. misery loves company, bro. T Grizzly, they'd be praying on my downfall. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's why I said downfall. it, right? So Dude, misery loves the mic there? misery loves fucking company, right? Mm-hmm. And I think that's something that we've learned the last couple of years is that you outgrow yeah, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You outgrow people, yeah. right? Some people they can't keep up with your growth. Sure. Yep. Thank you, my man. Thank you. You're the man, brother. Thanks, brother. Yeah. They can't uh, keep up with your they growth, can't. so you outgrow them. Now I think what happens a lot of the time is that. People don't want to outgrow it because think about it. Let's say you have a friend from when you were 20 years old. Yep. If you outgrow him, you're kind of like, fuck, I'm losing who I was before. Yep. Yeah. Good point. Good right? point. Yep. And, and you people got don't want to hist- lose that. Yep. You got because that they live in the with past. Them. Now, with, with that said, and that, that's very well said, I, uh, what you just said is 100% accurate. One of the caveats, the wrinkles that you also have to include in this formula, though, is that sometimes we give new people benefits of doubt that we don't give the people that have been True. around no, us. No, hundred percent. That is so correct. You know what I mean? It's because like, we don't. Because we hold them to a higher standard. Yeah. You know what? Ah, I'm sick of your fucking bullshit. 
or this guy, he's allowed to get away with everything because in my mind, I'm hoping he's this. And as we peel back the onion, oh, he's not that. Fuck you. Yeah, he's a Move prick. on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. People you know, don't want to face the music, though, right? They rather just pretend, okay, you know what? If I can keep this friend around, yep. that's me. That's yep. who I was when I was 20 or 25. Yep. If I move on, fuck, I'm losing who I was. Yep. So people tend not to want to outgrow people. But if you don't, here, here, here's you're going to stay in the same spot. Here's the atmosphere that this shit's the most fucking relevant and phony, dude. Yeah. People in their freaking tw- uh, late 20s, early 30s that are in the fucking nightclub scene. Okay. Mm. People that are going to get bottle service at the club. They gravitate to each other, pretending like they're actually friends of outside course. of the, the fact worst. that they're splitting <laughs> bottle the costs. Yeah. Motherfuckers, yeah. you're not actual fucking friends. Yeah. Quit asking about your fucking ne- nephew's fucking third birthday. Yeah. Yeah. You're fucking not invited, motherfucker. Yeah. We're not friends, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You, can't yeah. even you, know ta- you can't even talk in those places, though. Dude. You know no, what I hate true. when they fucking bring you a fucking sign and dance around and oh, shit? 100%. <laughs> You don't hate it, dude. Uh, I will say Bob does not like the fucking clubs at all. I don't. Well, you can get sick. Dude, I'm a fucking nerd. Be a nerd. I I don't know. I like the clubs because you can't, A, you can't talk to anybody, really. I mean, it's like, I don't really, I want to communicate with people, you know? True. And uh, and I'm not the kind of guy that's going to, like, pull a chick probably at the club. Yeah. I mean, I have to just really isolate and just like brainwash and try to be funny. You know what I mean? <laughs> brainwash, is, yeah. brainwash is crazy. So, but no, I used to I used to tell anytime I got a bottle service, if I ever do, which is I think it's the biggest waste of money ever. Yeah. I used to just tell you know, just hand me the fucking don't bottle. Start just with the sparkler. Yeah, don't, don't do, do the fucking walk show. it over. We don't need like fucking Steiny on a fucking thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking, like, Dude, know. we were talking about outgrowing people right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. Can, can that, I make one comment about yeah, what he just ahead. said, though? Here's the one thing. Yeah. Anybody that is able to pick up a girl on their own, yeah. don't get bottles at the club, okay? Because all you've done, if, not, you're a, if, yep. you're, if you're a dude that could pick up chicks already, and you go to the club, you've now leveled the playing field. Yeah. Because now the game, it's like, hey, you're a great football player. Hey, you're a great basketball player. But you're a mediocre soccer player. Now we're going to play soccer, okay? okay? Everyone's at my fucking level, dude. Yeah. Because it's now it's about the seven hundred dollar Grey Goose. Yeah, it's yeah. not about you being fucking a jawline like this or six foot fucking <laughs> yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. about that bottle of fucking Grey yeah, Goose. Yeah, all right. Well, you're setting the tone too for what this person expects from you. That as well. too. That too. Exactly. Because then you go to the club the next week with her. You better buy another. You better buy a more expensive bottle now. Exactly. And, and that, <laughs> She's out. And that's the that's more. Just ob- women. That's, that's the just more women. That's just women in yeah. general, though. Straight up, bro. That's the more you obvious be point, here. though. I'm just saying. There's some women. There's there's women that I mean I think about fifty. My former person was 50 50 we were good half was, the time she was good about that yeah yeah 50 percent, 50 percent. i think that's pretty good like fuck i yeah. don't even know if you could find that many 50 50 they're more like 90 10 the wrong way yeah i mean <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah, but you, you mentioned you had a good example of 90 10 bob i i did yeah no i don't remember that no, no. okay how about how about outgrowing people that's what we were talking about outgrowing people did you have yeah. to did you feel like you were outgrowing a lot of people as you started to come up as you started to be more successful mm. maybe this these are friends from the past People from the past. Like cutting people off? I don't want to say cutting people off because I don't like to say that, but moving on from a relationship, a friendship. Cutting people off, yes. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think it just kind of just happens naturally. Naturally, right? But I think you always stay in touch with your fucking homeboys. Yeah. And then, but then depends on how invested they are in different ventures and you go that way and then, but yeah, I never really, I haven't really mm-hmm. cut anybody off really. Do you, do you have a lot of like, friends you talk to like childhood wise like um not really not i don't really keep in touch do you really do you still keep in touch with your high school no people not really uh, there's there's a few people like, obviously dude, like very few but i wouldn't say the same amount that when we were there like when we were in high school i remember there was like a sandlot meme and it was like the saddest thing ever it was like do you guys ever see that it was like uh mm. uh fuck oh, man i was gonna find we're gonna find yeah it. you gotta find yeah. it it was like something like uh <laughs> You'll ne- you never knew when your last time to go out and fucking play together yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see, I see those all the time. Was, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. just like the most yeah. depressing meme ever. I was like, oh, man. It's like it was your, your last time playing outside with your friends that you didn't yeah. even know or something. It, you didn't even yeah, fucking yeah, know. Yeah, that's yeah. What it was. And that's yeah. true. And that's yeah. true. And I was just like, yeah. oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Yeah. I know. But yeah, but no, it, a, lot, a lot of people from high school that uh, I still stay in touch with, you know. Did you, so, find, yeah. did you find people, there was also people that didn't support you were doing that you thought would? In what sense? And like, just support your career, support you where where you were doing, um, and not be like envious or jealous or anything like that. I never li- listened or heard any of the noise or whatever. I would just run around like Hollywood and just do broadcaster voices and fucking. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> yeah, that's just it. Yeah. Simple, yeah. Simple, eh? I mean, ninety nine percent of the people I, thought it was crazy. So if, if like, <laughs> do you think you could put a number on how much money you've made? 
doing what you do? Yeah, definitely millions. From the broadcaster voice, eh? No, I mean, not from the broadcaster. <laughs> no, but it started with no, that. No, but, yeah, but I mean, yeah, like... But it started with that, and then, yeah. But, I mean, we got to make a lot fucking more, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I feel you like... Just you're just starting, with... starting soon. <laughs> I feel like I feel like with your brand, bro, there's, like, no limit, though. Our, our weed gummies are going to be sick. I got these weed That's gummies gonna coming They're going to be sick. Yeah. They're going to be good. And they actually are going to, I think, because I actually, I don't eat them that much because I have the world record for most 911 calls ever. <laughs> no, I swear to mean? God. I have the most. Like actually? I have set the record in one year for most 911 calls be, from eating from weed eating, gummies. And yeah. what, you're just calling the cops like, yo, well, I, I, you got to come I'm get dying. me. Well, well I mean, the conversation goes like this. I eat it. And then I'm like, <laughs> fuck. Oh, no, it's happening. And then I pick up the phone. I'm like, hey, how you doing? So here's the deal. I think I'm dying, but I'm not really dying because I just had a weed gummy, but I need somebody here. Is there any way you can have like them not turn the lights on, make like less of a scene? Yeah. Then usually, like, like they, the bottle service girls, pretty much. Like <laughs> the ambulance and the bus, exactly. like just low key, yeah. keep it low key. Well, I don't want to waste nine one one's time, but I do feel like you know, like if you're in a, like if you're in LA, I'm less probably like. But if I think I'm dying, I'm gonna call nine one one. This yeah. happened multiple times. I mean, yeah, we got me sometimes backfire on me, so I don't really eat them that so much. Edibles can get. I was gonna say, so then why'd you start a company <laughs> for the thing that you hate? Because normal <laughs> people are not like me. Yeah, true. Yeah, That's true. fair. Okay. Is there any other kind of brands like that that you're passionate about that you want to start? Um, not we talked about this today, yeah. but you know, I, I definitely want to get into something. I don't know yeah, the, got, be, the beverage space, I don't know how just I don't know a lot about it. Yeah. So, I, John, hopefully, you'll do some research and I can. I'm in three different beverages right now. It's a tough space to navigate, um, not impossible, but it's it's you know, one percent. A lot of com well, it's one percent based on the product and yeah. the quality of the product. The other 99 percent is navigating the fucking system, man. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Marketing, out. um, I, I will say this though to your audience, uh. I'm a venture capitalist. Bob is uh, Bob, and we are actively looking at uh, at ideas to get involved in where it wouldn't just be early investor advisory shares. It would be the lion's share of, of the company and take it from you know point A to point Z. So if any of your people listening have a good product out there. Um, and they just don't know where to go with it. Now, I don't want to get fucking phone calls about some idea you <laughs> oh, fucking you're done, have. Dude. And, you you're know, done, I, dude. Oh, you may, we're going to take down Instagram. It's this new social media platform. <laughs> go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. But is there, is there, certain, yeah. is there certain products or... or that you're looking well, at yeah like non-addicting Adderall that would be good that's fucking <laughs> well that's Mike I think that's like shrooms microdosing yeah. yeah well sorry is that like that's another story yeah, but, but, wait, yeah. I'm curious would you guys yeah. ever invest in because this seems to be the up and coming thing would you <laughs> invest in the media space like would you invest in another uh, let's say show podcast show or anything along yeah, those look lines yeah let's put some stuff yeah, underneath or, the, uh, underneath our a, shit yeah I mean yeah involved in somebody I wanna, I wanna so would it be the Ripper Magoo brand like as the mother brand it could be anything it could be whatever we figure out I don't know I mean our active uh, right now like I said is my goal is just to fucking just dial it back in get the podcast going just yeah. day by day with, yeah. with the stage that I'm at right now mentally like just I just got to just get back on track, and that's what I plan on doing Bob, tomorrow. And, and also, Bob, Bob does, I guess you would call it almost like consulting for independent podcasts. Really? Yeah, he, okay. he, he makes income doing that, and he does a good job for the people doing that. I don't, I don't think he's actively pursuing new clients on that, but he does. Am I allowed to say that? I don't give a right. fuck. Yeah, that's I mean, cool. No, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, there's, there's probably people listening right now that have worked with Bob. That have but I couldn't. It's, just, it's a lot of work, though, too. Like, basically, it's like, you, you know. You can't scale it. You can't scale it. It's No, yeah. Well, no. Like, what does that it's entail, your time. Though. You're treating, treating your time. So well, basically, like, them. you know, you said it's, well, I mean, a retainer. Like, hey, uh, listen, this is pay X amount a month. Yeah. Retainer, and I'll help you. And these are the deliverables. Of hours or whatever. No, like help just certain get, things. Like guests. you know, I'll appear on one show as a guest. I'll co-host a show as a guest. Shit. Like all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but um, okay. yeah, we have a uh, we have one that we work with right now, which I love the guys. They're so fucking passionate. It's the side hustle podcast. I help them a lot. These guys are awesome. And they're cool. just uh, plug that? What, what, they're what hustlers. Side hustle, side hustle side podcast. Hustle but podcast. I do feel bad because I just kind of I, I I didn't I checked out a little bit on them because I, you know. So no, those guys. Well, I don't know. I'm not gonna speak for them. I think they're happy with your relationship no i mean right? I yeah i mean like they, 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 here's the deal like, like they know i'm coming like i'm good i'm coming yeah. back like fucking i don't fucking like well, and this yeah. is yeah how about how about building a brand let's say that was bigger than than bob is that mm. something you want to do something that like would live on without you sure if sure like you're down with that i'm just asking like, yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't think that uh, that ahead yet no I'm no. thinking about just John's tonight. like, yeah, yeah, I've been thinking yeah. about it. Yeah, no, yeah. I have been, dude. He, he's open to this kind of shit, dude. He, he, here's the thing you got to understand about Bob, right? So we, we're relatively newer friends, like, in the grand scheme. It's not like we've been friends for five fucking years. Yeah. So so we've been 
building trust with each other and he's been dealing with some other fucking shit and cool. as he as things straighten out mm -hmm. like you get that focus again yeah. all right and, and one of the things i've learned about him is just it's, again it's one thing after a fucking another and you, whether whether they're positive or negative it's boom 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 yeah, boom yeah, yeah. dude let's fucking do this now he's doing this weed gummy thing it's, that's outside of me that that has some potential but why can't we do fucking no, that's something? gonna go that's gonna go wild well, you know they're, yeah. they're, with with some structure we're gonna be able to do fucking things like your buddies are doing with their fucking cell surgery. Well, yeah, I mean, John. John flew out here because, to be honest with you, like he wasn't supposed to be here. And like you said, I was going through some shit. I was like fucking just manic with everything going on, like you know. Mm -hmm. And so he just came out and fucking was like, "Yo, let's get you the fuck out of here." That was it. Yeah. So Operation yep. Save Bob. It was a hashtag. You know, yeah. that's it. I heard it was trending well, on Twitter. We made a little number one. one. Well, and this is how Bob tries to pay back. I was coming out here anyway for him. And then he, just because he knows I'm trying to like do stuff on my social media. What? So, that just don't, what? Yeah. You're a dick. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You said it. Oh. Like, like he starts saying, "Oh, well, dude, dude, thank you. Post something on your story. I'm gonna reshare." And he tries to because he, he does show gratitude, so he yeah. tries to do it through like Instagram yeah, stories. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's I was important. Coming, I was platform, coming out yeah. here anyway, man. I mean, well, we set this up. Bob forget. <laughs> Bob forgets. <laughs> I brought you on this podcast. You didn't bring me on this podcast. Yeah, yeah, obviously, no. you guys have wanted Bob on, of but course. we actually met through somebody fucking else. And and this is what I'm saying. It gets so fucking hairy. One thing after a fucking yeah. Like, wait, yeah. wait. How are we on this podcast? And it was through a totally different of course channel. Billy. You know? yeah, Why I'm asking Billy. about like yeah, a McFarland. brand that lives on because you guys have like Bob. You have a, a crazy network. You have all the resources yeah. now to start kind of any show you would want. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of just like why wouldn't you? Why mm -hmm. wouldn't you build something that would be bigger than you? I want to. Yeah, I do want to. Yeah, yeah. eventually. Yeah. I think you I mean, can. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go tomorrow. Like literally tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day. I swear to God. <laughs> it's not today, but it's I'm tomorrow. Are you gonna you. come for a run with us in the hills or what? No, I'm gonna get on a fucking <laughs> airplane, get the fuck out of here, and then. Oh, you're leaving tomorrow. Yeah, I'm leaving LA. I, I Damn. Can't. So we caught you on the last day. eh? You caught me on the last day and the worst day. day. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna flop. To be honest, I'll be completely honest. I, I was didn't... like, yo, I woke up this morning, I go to him, I'm like, yo, Bob, I, I, like Bob might flop. Yeah. And flop, you're like, what do you nope. mean flop? What do you mean? Like just like, not, like, not 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 want to do the pot or uh, not show up. Yeah, well, it's close close. But so we're really appreciative of it. <laughs> oh dude, I mean yeah. I don't We know. were close though. We were close to losing you. Yeah. Uh, I I uh, no. <laughs> I was just in that room and John came in and it was like <laughs> he's like, Yeah, we have the money uh, by the his people. I'm like, All right. And that was well, it. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it for real, dude. Well, I mean, well, I, I, mean I, like, I, look, I watch your shit. I watch your stuff sometimes. It's good. You guys are good. Do good what you want. You guys have a good power, man. You guys impress yeah, him. Yeah, no, thanks, that, thanks, bro. guys. Yeah, I thought I thought maybe some uh, some certain relationships could have uh, messed that up, but I appreciate you uh, coming on, not giving a fuck. Is that relation? What are you guys allowed to talk about that? Uh, we're oh, trying to trying to trying to stay away from it. Right? Oh, 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 only Bob's allowed to talk about his fucking relationships. <laughs> Bob's the guest here. Bob's the guy. Okay. If you want to okay. have a Ripper Magoo, we could come talk. You no, know what I mean? No, there's no, no need. Listen, listen. We I can't go say, there tonight. I'll fucking just discombobulate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I gotta say we're thankful for everybody. We're appreciative. Yeah. We got no, nothing bad to say about anybody. That's yeah, you guys we, are great at what you do. We keep yeah. it. We thank just keep it chill. So first of all, thank you guys. But before we end it, we are the Money Buys Happiness Podcast. Okay, the MBH Podcast. We always ask our guests, you know, if you guys believe money buys happiness. So I don't know who wants to go first. Here. Fuck no, I'll go first. Okay, John, do you believe money buys happiness? Uh, I believe that money allots for things that that can lead to happiness. For for, for instance, I got my son sitting right here watching and taking notes right now. He's enjoying this. That's shit. the boy. Yeah. If I didn't, if got I got the FaceTime, Steve will do it last night. If, if, exactly. <laughs> he, my, Living I, the dream. Got a teenage son that thinks I'm fucking cool. I mean, how cool Sick. is that? Yeah. Right. Sick. You know what I mean? That's dad yeah, goals. If I if I was a W two employee, I wouldn't have been able to take the time out to come out here and help my fucking friend. I wouldn't have been able to bring my son. We wouldn't be in this fucking condo yep. if it wasn't for fucking money. Beauty it's a nice condo, condo, by the yeah. way. You know what I mean? Beauty fucking condo. Thank okay. You. Bob Menry. Bob, it's your turn. Do you believe money buys happiness? Hmm. No, not really. I think it, I don't know. It's, I mean, it depends. It could cause more problems. It could buy. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, all right, thanks. Has it, has, hold on, hold on. Has it, has <laughs> it, bro has it brought yeah. you happiness, money? No, because I, I don't really give a fuck about money. No, at all. I could tell. Yeah. I, just I, really I don't. actually, you're the first guy which presents our problem. Guys. <laughs> no, I was gonna say though, <laughs> no, honestly, no. I, I swear. I, I like I'll, I'll work like a dog on yeah. on stuff, but my motivation is not money. It's just my motivation is like just. Like accomplishing the, I don't know, the task at hand, I think. I don't know. I, I, I got to say, man, after like 150 plus episodes, 
you're the only guy that that I believe who's actually said that because everyone says that or people yeah. try and say that. Okay. I actually think he's being honest. Yeah. You, you actually don't give yeah, a fuck. Yeah, you're the first guy I believe yeah. on this podcast that said that. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I mean, your yeah. first answer was just like, eh, yeah. no. But, <laughs> but was, that, was that always the case or did that change? Uh, that changed. Okay. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, we could change it back. Yeah, we'll, we'll switch it We're back. Gonna change I it think back. John's gonna change it back. John's I think, gonna yeah, definitely right. change it back. <laughs> do something with this, buddy. <laughs> no, yeah, but guys, yeah. seriously, no, I, I fucking appreciate you. Yeah, guys, it was man. good time. Awesome, this is awesome. awesome. Honestly, appreciate right, it, brothers. boys. We are fucking out. Right.